Well, 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 would you look at that. Former Love is Blind season six star Clay Graves was just outed on Instagram as being in some sort of a relationship with Selena Powell, who was the most famous rap and hip hop groupie out there, which is a very, very strange turn of events, considering the way that Clay went on some sort of a bash AD tour after the show. He claimed that he had no idea where AD's finances came from, like he was going through therapy. And the reason why he can't marry AD was because he had no idea about her finances. He felt like she was someone who just wanted to be taken care of. So how do you go from that to being posted up in bed with Selena Powell, of all people, who is someone who seems to make money sleeping with famous men, or in your case, barely famous men. It's interesting that you sought to destroy the image of your ex fiance AD, yet here you are posted up with someone like Selena. I find the hypocrisy to be absolutely astounding. And the idea that you were in therapy, trying to change your ways and become a serious person who can be a husband one day. Meanwhile, you're thoughting and bopping for the gram like this it's not checking out you know the these claims of yours are not checking out so let's take a look at the video that they posted well selena posted anyway in order to confirm their relationship one thing about selena is if you're in bed with her she's providing receipts so let's go Like, what is this? You know, you guys are far too old to be posted up like this on the internet. It's just a mess. It's just very trashy. The t-shirt that she's wearing, him being topless, it's them being in bed. It's just ridiculous. So when you take a look at the comments, people are like, you know, really, truly dragging him. And it's not just here. It's on every publication that reposted it. So Hollywood Unlocked, The Shade Room, it's all over TikTok. Like, Clay took a massive L here and, you know, his hypocrisy was exposed. So let's take a look at some of the comments. So someone says AD was saved by the gods. I knew this man was not marriage material. AD to her is crazy. He made a black queen look silly on TV for this. Wow. Shaking my head. You're really sick. Um, bro just kissed the whole industry. He really is like his dad. Um, Clay, I'm calling your mom because what? Tamu, Ray J, and Kim. Sorry, y'all. I have to like this. <laughs> AD, you dodged a bullet. I know his mom is pissed. AD was too much of it. Listen, listen, take a look at these comments. Read them for yourselves. Read them for yourselves. Do you see a single positive comment in here? You know, this woman is very famous for exposing the people that she sleeps with. And like, not even like, hey, like I'm going to go on like an angry rant on my Instagram or anything like that. No, she goes and does full blown podcasts about these people. For example, one of the last people that she was dealing with was Offset. So she said in this podcast that he hit it raw. So just you wait, Clay, because we know this is not going to work out. And at the end of it, we're going to find out exactly what it is that you did with this girl. Not that we need to know but we're nosy. So we're going to find out anyway, you know, exactly uh, every single thing. So here's the thing. I feel like he knows this. Everybody knows this when they deal with this lady. Um, so at this point you are just looking for clout. I think that clay is just looking for attention. Look at this, my man, my man, my man, <laughs> and look at his grimace. <laughs> Um, so he's just looking for attention in my opinion, and he's looking for the wrong kind of attention. Again, the video in bed was trashy. This is trashy as well. Um, she says that she's been having a lot better luck since she met him. Well, we'll see how long that lasts because one thing about Selena is her relationships are not going to last. She just sees these people as a means to an end, as a means to gain attention. And listen, at the end of the day, if that's what she wants, good for her. I think, um, a lot of men screw women over for a lot less. So if that's what you want, girl, that's what you want. So there you go. We see where she makes her money only fans, which, you know, there's no judgment there no hate there so but at the same time clay was hating on ad for alle allegedly well not allegedly but for having someone you know a man who wanted to take care of her and he acted like oh she was like this smut she was this she was that meanwhile this is what you've got this is what you're publicizing as your as your girl dude all right you know the hypocrisy is insane what anyway i don't know clay was the attention worth it? At this point, it starts to seem like he was completely inauthentic in his decision to sign up for Love is Blind. It's starting to feel like he did it just for publicity and attention because um, a serious person would not be laid up like this on Instagram, like some sort of an insta thoughty. It is just weird and it's embarrassing. And I feel like AD is probably relieved now that he has been exposed for who he really is. And I will say though, that he had me fooled. Remember when I was recapping the reunion, the finale and stuff like that, I said that he was very honest about the fact that he was not ready. He always said, my dad's a rolling stone. 
you know, he's always cheating on my mom. So it was very obvious that this is not a serious person who can actually, who is actually marriage material. Okay. Um, but it felt like despite the fact that he was not marriage material, he knew it, he was upfront about it. And then he later claimed to have gone to therapy to deal with that and to deal with the trauma that his poor father put him in the family through. Um, but now it's looking like, okay, it is true. He's not marriage material. It is true that he's traumatized from his father, but I don't know that he's actually putting in work in therapy to be a better man and to be like, you know, a, a husband one day or anything like that, just based off what I've seen here now on Instagram and in like two seconds of footage, all of that just came tumbling down and, um, you know, got exposed. One thing I will say though, is I'm quite surprised that he's not going to be appearing on perfect match season two, because a lot of these people who are thirsty to keep themselves in the spotlight, sign up for perfect match. Right. And so we already have his perfect match co-stars, Jessica and, um, there's somebody else on there, but I'm, oh, Micah, but Micah was from a different season on there. But I'm wondering, oh, Trevor's going to be there too, who is also on their season, but no Clay, which I do find to be rather interesting because, you know, he definitely does, in my opinion, look the part for and fit the part now, attitude wise, for Perfect Match. So who knows? Maybe season three, maybe he's trying to do this to get onto Perfect Match season three or whatever else there might be out there for him. Clay, this is just not a good look at all. I'm sorry, but you're too old for this. You're like, what, mid 30s now at your point? Like early 30s? Like, you're too old for this, bro. This is teenager, early to mid max 20 behavior. Like it's, it's just so trashy. Anyway, can't wait for Selena to spill all the tea. We will be keeping an eye out. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for a recap when Selena inevitably spills all on her short-lived relationship with Clay Graves. Don't forget, I do have an affiliate link in the description box of this video for Philo, which is an online streaming service like, you know, that has reality TV, including on demand live as it's happening on, on TV as well. There's TLC, O Network, MTV, Lifetime, like you name it, they most likely have it. So make sure to hit the link down in the description box down below to sign up for a week free trial of Philo. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.